let me change it. Yeah. Can y'all see? Y'all see it good? Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I can see, I can actually see everybody. I can see everybody the other way. So, you know what? I'll just keep it like this. Actually. Yeah, actually, you know what? Now I can't see I rather though, man. Basically, the uh, right, the truth, and what you acquire in this time through the understanding. Okay, it said, and he said unto them, occupy. All right, when you look into the word occupy, it goes into being set in a specific business. That specific business, again, going into uh, this truth. All right, now this truth comes with many things. It tells you, you know, 
it's not just, you know, like Brother said yesterday, it's not just about cussing out the white man, um, you know, saying that you know, Babylon's going to be destroyed. It's about setting yourself in order. Because when you go up to verse 12, it talked about that nobleman that went to a far, uh, it said he went into a far country, but it said at the end he was going to return. See, this is something that we establish our faith entirely on, that Yahweh Bashim El Shai is going to return uh, at the time he says he's going to. So we have to be always telling ourselves that he's going to come back. Because you've got the world set, the world just believes, like it says, which we're going to get it in second address, the world is set of darkness, and ultimately that darkness is disbelief. Right? Disbelief of all the things that are said about in the scriptures. Okay? So it said, uh, go ahead and read that one more time in Luke 19 13. This is Luke 19 13. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Keep on going. But his citizens hated him and sent the message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And you, and you, and you look at today, when we go out there to preach, and we, you know, we profess who Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is, that he's the one that rules all things, that he's really the one controlling everything, what's the world do? They, they hate, they backbite, they deny, all right? So that's, you know, that's essentially the whole world. The whole world hated Yahweh Shah. All right? And they're saying by their actions, because again, what's our job that we should be doing here? All right? Occupy until, they, until, until the Lord returns, which is ultimately setting your setting yourself and the ones that believe with you in order. This is why we do the lessons, okay? This is why we go out on the highways, because there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a chapter, it's in Luke also as well, like the 16th chapter, I believe, and like the 40th verse somewhere around, around that. When, when the Sadducees, or who's the Pharisees and Sadducees, man, they made a comment. They, they said that Yahweh shot and silenced his disciples. And he said that, that if these stones cried not out, if we ain't going out there to tell you, man, who you are and telling you what's about to come, you wouldn't know anything that you know today if you gain understanding. So that's why we have to come out there. That's why we have to warn the people, like I said, compel them. All right? I got it. Go ahead, go ahead. This is all. This is St. John. This is John 15. I'm starting 16. It said, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit. And it goes back to what I'm saying here. Going up to the highways, the highways, bring forth members of the land. All right? It says, And that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Now, it said that your fruit should remain. Your fruits, we already understand, we understand at this point in time now how you remain a fruit. Doing the thing, what did it say? Oh, go ahead. Uh, what do y'all get in James, the fifth chapter, uh, starting at the first verse, where it talks about uh, how the Lord uh, waited for the fruit, basically, to get to its perfect uh, rightness, or again, yeah, rightness. See, the fruit is, again, the, 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 the attributes and traits that you acquire in this truth, the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding. Okay? So, go ahead and read that one time. Kind of, it's back in the uh, St. John. 15 to 16, say, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit. And now, what did Yahweh Shai said? That you shall know them by their fruits. That's how we that's how we give spiritual calculations of who's being sincere, who isn't, who's really here to work, who isn't, who hates Yahweh Shai, who doesn't. And ultimately, it's the ones we already know. I mean, not to put this out there and make it a, a great millstone thing, but among great millstone, you have us working the most, right? And if anybody is out there that does believe, you can tell them to identify themselves that they do align. And then we measure them by, their, by the food that they're bringing. Are they teaching the right doctrine? Are they coming with a, a proper spirit? You know, that's what it's about. A certain a certain mind frame, you gotta have a certain mind frame in this thing, man. And one of them also too goes into, one thing about the prophets is everything that they gained only made them want to get out of this place even more. They understood the cause and what was going to happen. All right, Hebrews 12 chapter talks about how they desired a city whose maker was of God. Because this place ain't built upon the Mosad, all right? It's built upon wickedness, all right? So, uh, yeah, go ahead and get that, that advantage, and then we're going to go back to the book of Luke. Uh, this is the book of James, chapter 5, verse 7. And it reads, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it 
until he received the early and latter rain. Right, those fruits to get, and the reason why I brought that out, the fruit is us, okay? The husband is Yahweh, right? He's waiting to get us right, because we're getting ourselves in order. We're getting ourselves ready. Now, what does it say in uh, Revelations? Uh, that the bride prepared herself, meaning she made herself yeah, she prepared herself, uh, she adorned herself as a, uh, for her husband, and that word goes to being prepared. Put in order. Yeah, 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 put yourself in order. Make the necessary preparations, which we're all doing right now, man. Okay? You know, we can go into the the, 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 uh, the garments, the, the, the clothing of the, of the righteous, all of that, man, it even tells you it's the righteousness of the saints. One thing people are going to understand in the end is that the ones that are going to be saved brought forth a certain conduct, right? They had a certain attitude and behavior uh, this whole time while you were out there gallivanting around the earth, being wicked, being malicious. You know, uh, the scriptures say about how they use your spirit for lasciviousness. It's not about what you want to do, and it's not about doing only what you want to do, okay? That's, that's, that's the thing that separates us from the world, order, okay? Yeah, it's a council we read on 16. I mean, 17. Yeah, 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 yeah. 17 and 18. Uh, but he got a scripture. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's good. Um, is there a little, there's a little bit more in the next verse? Uh, like James? Uh, uh, well, actually, uh, Romans 8, 4. Romans 8, 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Romans 8, 4. This is the book of James 5, verse 7. Be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth, and have long patience for it, until he received the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draw nigh. There you go. So the Lord is telling you what you should be doing to become one of those precious fruits. All right, so he says, establish your hearts. So go we'll ahead and get that definition out. Mm -hmm. Establish. Establish. Uh, it says set up an organization, system, or set of rules on a firm or permanent basis. Standard. Standard. There's uh, prerequisites to being in this truth. You know, the Lord asked various times, he said, what does the Lord require of thee? So what what are you what are, what are you permitted to do? What are you not permitted to do? Right? Good. What did he say? Be fruitful and multiply. But ultimately, that aligns with being in order to do, to what he set up as rules, guidelines. That's why we have the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, Jake, Jake hears that word commandment, and oh, that's that's too demanding. Oh, no, the word commandment essentially means a guideline. It's there to help direct you. Hey, man, uh, I just said this up to you, but it's going to be a little tricky. So here, let, let me help you get through it. All right, thank you. you should be thankful. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so. But, you know, but, hey, <laughs> uh, so go ahead and keep on reading that, uh, Shimon. Is there any more? <clears throat> um, uh, 19, verse 14, he says, But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him, saying, He will not be oh, no, like established. Oh, established? Uh, yeah, uh, he says, he said, he said uh, Achieve permanent acceptance or recognition for, he said, the principle of the Supremacy of national politics. Yeah, read that one again, though. The, 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 Form, found, create, inaugurate, organize. What's that one you just read? Uh, the second one. The one that you just read that before you continue on. Uh, it says achieve there. permanent acceptance or recognition for. Achieve permanent acceptance or recognition for. What, what did it say that the Lord is going to do? Well, this is lining back up with Luke 19. When he returns, he's going to recognize your achievements. All right, it said, you know, well thou done, thou good servant, but thou hast gained ten pounds. You know, you know, be thou a ruler over ten cities. The Lord is coming back to recognize your achievements, all right, which is only going to be established all right, within the rules and guidelines and standards, as the brother said, 
that you've been following in this time. See, man, uh, actually, you know what? The brother posted a comment on the chat. Yeah, I see it, right? it was in Jeremiah, though. He said that the man that you Jeremiah 17.2. No, it said uh, Jeremiah 17. He said he should be rewarded according to his will and good of death. Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17, 10. Um, Shalom to, um, to the brother. God bless his life. Shalom. 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 It's um, Jeremiah 17, 10. It said, I, the Lord, I will search the heart. I tried to reign, even to give every man according to his way and according to the fruit of his doing. Right. So, what, what, what fruit were you putting out? What achievements, quote unquote, achievements? Because in this time, Jake can achieve to be doing uh, evil, all right? That's why it said that he's gonna reward a man whether it be good or bad, all right? See, it's a, there's a very fine line in how the Lord's gonna come back and judge when he does return, all right? And the time that he's coming for, he's telling you he's coming back to reward every man that's been doing evil or a recompense, he's gonna recompense them. There's more of a, a firm you know, vibration behind it because it really is. He's gonna pay you back how you acted, man. You know, like when someone does you dirty, man, you're like, I'm gonna pay this dude back, I'm gonna get his ass back. That's what the Lord's coming to do to those that, that don't want to fall in line with the standard that he set up. You got a lot of unruly uh, people in this time, man. A lot of actually is no name circumcision. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, you guys, man, you know, those that want to try to clean up their teachers, all right? And that's and, and that's that's a shame. Because you of all people, man, you were given understanding, and now you over here polluting, perverting, offer a, a, a reputation, your own self-recognition, whatever it may be. You know, and, and hey, man, the Lord ain't dealing with that. The Lord is about reproving and setting in order. And if you cannot do that, man, the Lord is going to destroy you. Titus chapter 1, verse 10, it says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, hey, uh, what, especially. What's that word unruly mean? Unruly? It's like I didn't want to cut the scripture off. Oh, yeah, it says, There are many unruly and vain talkers, especially the circumcision. Yeah, you're resisting what the Lord is telling you what to do. You're resisting the Holy Spirit. You're yeah, exactly. the scripture say, bring every thought to evil beings. Yeah. Yeah. Just to, to, be, to bring to subjection, yeah. submission. Yeah. To be under. To be under. Hey, man, we're, we're practicing to be. You know, like the scripture say, the Israel of God, the Israel of God is the precious woman to the Lord. And the, how, does, how does every man want his woman to be in order? Submissive. Purified. Purified. There ain't nothing wrong, man. You've got the whole, you got the standard of the world teaching women how to be, you know, unru unruly, uh, lewd in their behavior, letting the woman do whatever she wants. And you men, are especially there the circumcision, could fall in that same attitude. And that's, that's, hey. That's why the Lord is coming with swift judgment. Hey, being a, a, an unruly woman. <laughs> you know what's funny? Go ahead. When you read up, when you read up in Tobit, the second chapter, it talks about how how the uh, the, the young woman teaches the young woman, the young the old woman teaches the young woman to be sober minded mm -hmm. and holy and discreet and chast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is that Timothy? Yeah, no, it's Titus. Titus? I know there's one where it says teaching the women to be modest and or to adorn themselves. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm that's first thing I see. Okay, Con. Uh, well, if someone want to get that, because that's going to go into how I'm likening, you know, the elect as into a woman. Uh, so, speak of the man, want to get that, then we'll go back to the one Titus. Or read that one, and then we'll get that one I'm talking about. Titus chapter 2, verse 1, it says, But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. It said that the aged men be sober, great, temperate, sound in faith, stable. That's all time of the same. Because uh, you read sound in mind, but there was something after you said. Yep, that's it. It becomes sound sober. You're a yes, sober speak sound. Down things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober. There you go, sober. That ultimately goes into stability. All right? Being stable minded. All right? Not, un not unwavering. All right? Not resisting, like we're talking about. The repetitive thing you should be telling about, or that you should be receiving, is the Holy Spirit. But like the brother quoted, you, you do always resist the Holy Spirit. Okay? Go ahead. It says, great. Being serious. It says, temperate. Being balanced. Sound in faith. In charity. In patience. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. 
not false accusers, not giving them much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober. Hey, teachers, it says teachers of good things. What is the good things, man? Getting this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Not talking about what type of shoes John the Baptist was wearing. You know, not talking about, not teaching false things. The, the, that we're in a new covenant. Mm -hmm. Prophecies, right. man. You can't. You know, the prophecies as a whole. That's the that's, that's teaching all good things, man. You know? Because, hey, in the scripture, man, you got prophecies popping off the page, man. These are good things to to let the let the you know to let, you know let the uh, the let you know know what's going on man. and for those that tune in and what's going to happen yeah. those are the good things it's the gospel man it's exactly. the good news it says that they may teach the young women to be sober to love their husbands to love their children to be discreet chaste keepers at home good obedient to their own husbands and the word of the Most High do not blaspheme. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. Hey, man, if you get a believer, if you get someone who's sincerely uh, seeking, you know, how and how shy, and, and, and he comes across a, a camp teaching that the MOTB is sin, mm -hmm. but he could have been sincere, you know? Look, you know? It's sincerely wrong. Yeah, right, right. But then you just now made this man teach something totally off because he can, he's going to take that information and share it with others. Now teaching false things. See, this is why it's very important because when you go back to that word great, that goes into like gravity and severity. It even says that in Romans uh, that, you know, teach them about the severity, those that fell off, you know, the branches that fell off, the severity, but to those, you know, that do stay, you know, the good things. You know, it's, it's severe and serious about this thing, man. Like, you don't get it, man. The entire creation of the earth, including us, all went off. We all polluted and perverted the ways of Yahweh Bashan Al Shai from the from I'll starting with the heathen to Israel, man. Well, what? Like, go ahead. No, I'll say I'll say Israel to heathen, you know. Yeah, Israel to heathen, yeah. Well, that's, that's why uh, Romans 8 and 20 says that the, that the world wait wait for the manifestation of the uh, the creature, wait for the manifestation of the sons of the most high. You know? You know? Because the sons of the most high manifesting, which they're manifesting right now. Righteousness wouldn't begin to come back into the earth. Exactly. And the earth, and the earth would be increasingly quick. You know. That's why that's why the men of the Lord have been put here on the earth to establish that righteousness. This is the light for uh, John 3 and 19. This is the light that in the, this is the condemnation that light enter into the world. You know? Because the world has to be has to be condemned and at the same time righteousness has to be brought back into earth. And that's what this is about, rooting out wicked. You know, like the brother I not quoted uh, earlier, bringing all thoughts to the obedience of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yeah, if I may say, uh, they say exhort uh, to soberness. Right? The word exhort uh, means to encourage, right? And sober means uh, a moderate in desires or actions. Temperate or restrained, especially in staying from either strong drink or whatever vices that you have. Essentially, you know, we're trying to be perfect in that, you know, because that's all this world goes off of is appetites. You know, it's like, no, that's the no, because that's aligning with the lesson. The, 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 the lesson, the name of the lesson was uh, repetitive, repetitive mindset. And try uh, trial, something like that. I said, can't exactly remember, but I know I put repetitive mindset. All right, the world is constantly barraging, uh, barraging your mind to want to do other things that are not convenient. It's teaching you to be reprobate. You know, so we're having to fill our, we have to fill ourselves up every single day. That's why it tells you in uh, Second Corinthians, the, the fourth chapter, that you, you are your spirit be renewed day by day. Every single day, you gotta you gotta fill your vessel back up with the right information. You know, I've always said this, man. It's a blessing that the Lord give you instructions about Him every day, because you could go, you could carry on a whole day and not even, have even meditated about the Most High. That and you know, and you can, oh shit, what the, what the hell, you know? That's why it's very important that you pray in these times. That's why Yahweh Shai said, pray at all time and pray without ceasing. All right. 
uh, Titus 2 and 7, it says, All things, showing thyself a pattern of good works, and doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech, that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Hey, you remember that movie, uh, Book of Eli, with, with uh, Denzel Washington? When he was on the path, he kept on saying, stay on the path. And he said something else about it when he came into, you know, uh, potential threats. But he kept saying, stay on the path. Stay on the path. What did I say? Uh, <coughs> you say Eli. Oh, it's locking. But no, uh, he, kept on saying, he kept on saying, stay on the path. This is not your fight. Stay on the path. This is not your fight. Stay on the path. What would, what, would it happen, what do you think would have happened if someone heard him saying every day, stay on the path, stay on the path, stay on the path, and all of a sudden the next day he gets to stay on the path, stay on the path, and go to the right, go to the right. What, what do you think would be? The bullets would hit it Well, because, it's, because uh, he was talking about having sound doctrine mm -hmm. on corruptness. Yeah, on corruptness. Some, someone's going to look at you. Hey, you good? What happened? What happened? And they're going to catch on. They're going to see, like, oh, shit, something, something's going on. Because it says sound speech that shall not be in. Right? Sound speech is speaking uh, uh, the correct doctrine, sound speech in the Lord. Sound speech is not saying that you know, that the uh, that the mark is the mark of Cain. That's not sound speech. You know, saying that the mark is uh, sin is not sound speech. Saying that the mark is uh, uh, an embargo is not sound speech. Right? You know, saying that the Jacob's son was taken is not sound speech. You know, sound means re meaning reasonable, bro. That's the word. What the word sound means, means reasonable. Those things that, that, that these other guys are stopping out of their mouth is corrupt. It's not reasonable. Well, the scriptures identify these people or these men or these so-called fake well, oh, What did the apostle Gabar say he's going to start doing? Calling them dumb dogs. Yeah. It's not about ad hominem attacks. Uh, it's about they're not being proper watchers, man. They're just barking at some weird shit. Yeah. But these yeah, are the men. They're huh? not yeah, barking yeah, at all. Yeah, they're not barking at all. Yep, yep. But what did what did uh what did they identify these these beasts as? Now you should understand exactly brutes, beasts, and a brute is what an unreasonable person, an, un an unreasonable man. You can't reason with them, so they're so they're rationalizing what they're teaching to, to be logical, to be the conclusion. They 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 you when you hear that uh, that short that uh, Nate made last week about uh, the law of what is the mark of God being the law. The mark of the beast being sin. That is not rational, that's man. Sound speech. That is not sound speech. I don't know how in the hell I'm going to rehearse and practice that behavior when you just said that. It's definitely heresy. Damnable heresies. Yeah. Hey, man, a heresy. Uh, uh, what did what Job? I did, Job calls those heinous, heinous crimes. All right. See, going back to that scripture that you read about blaspheming the Most High, man. Essentially, that's what you're getting to. You're taking this whole document. And, and just mangling it. And now you're spreading the flock of who could have been sincere. All right? So, it, hey, man, that's why, again, that's why I'm going back to the same repetitive comment. It matters. It matters what you're doing this time. It matters what you're teaching. It matters what you're filling yourself up with this in this time because this time is judgment. And we're having to make sure that we're not caught up in that, fi in that, in that uh, exchange of fire when the Lord returns because the Lord is going to destroy it. All right, this, the Apostle Bar uh, did a lesson a noise and grievous uh, destruction coming to this place. It's going to be like a whirlwind. All right, and the only thing that can cover you in this time, the only thing that you can be under the shadow of, is if you're doing what you should be doing in this, which is rehearsing the righteous acts, gaining the wisdom, getting knowledge. That's all the world requires of you. Go ahead. It's the book of wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 1 and verse 1, and it reads, Love righteousness. Ye that be judges of the earth, think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart, seek him. And I know you got that definition for simplicity. God. Um, well, when you go into the word simplicity, it means uh, humility, lack of pride. You know, it's, uh, it's another way of basically, um, another definition is immutability. You know, and that the Lord is described as uh, having immutability, meaning he doesn't change. You know, he's, he's stable, you know. Uh, but read on verse 2 it says for he will be found of them that tempt him not and sheweth himself unto such as do not distrust him you go into the word tempt it means to provoke or defy you know you, you, you're provoking and defying the Lord when you bring out doctrines that are adverse to the scriptures well you know? the Lord said in Jeremiah the, 30, the 31st chapter man that 
this city from the day that I built it up had been a provocation unto me. So Jake, it's, it's, no, it's a known thing that in this time too, we're going to have those that are doing that, that are provoking the Lord. You know? <laughs> That's well, a dangerous thing. Yeah. Because the scriptures say, kiss the son unless he be angry. Which, trying, uh, trying. My bad. No, 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 no. But I was going to add, like he said, who, who made the lesson? Um, Harden not your hearts as in the day of provocation that you were in the wilderness. That's Corinthians 10. Come, come. Yeah, that church making sense. They were talking about um, the murmurs. Yeah. And they like to talk shit, and they don't like to do what they need to do. Um, yeah. Uh, let me just read verse 5 and 6. Uh, reading down, uh, first, um, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. Yeah, you see how quick, man, we're able to counter these, these, uh, Hooligan attacks from these guys trying to teach these simple ass doctrines, man. It just, don't, it just don't add up. What you say? No, no, yeah, it don't add up. They're a bunch of holes. Yeah. You gotta watch out for those seducing spirits, too. I think we was talking about like a week ago about like the Lord didn't send us forth to tell lies, you know? Yeah. As a prophet, we sent forth. That's what prophet means. He's not sent forth to tell lies to the people. I mean, you yeah. have no godliness to best of how to do that, but, you know, at the end of the day, we're not sent forth. Sounds crazy. Don't tell, don't, don't go on to say this. Well, apostle means sinner for. Uh, prophet means uh, uh, he that said before. He said before. Verse 6. Wisdom Psalm 1 and 6. For wisdom is a loving spirit and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. For the Most High is witness of his reigns and a true beholder of his heart and a hearer of his tongue. Hey, the word acquit, it means basically to let go. He ain't, gonna let you, he ain't gonna let you slip from that. This is the one thing, man, that the Lord told you not to prefer to mess up with. And Jake is just dropping the ball. <laughs> you know, like, well, you know, with that, you know, with the whole dog, too. You know what I'm saying? Can, can you say that's a straight thing? You know, it's just doctrine. It's just doctrine, man. Yep. Not our arms. Nope. Yep. So I'm gonna have this brother get a quick scripture to back this up. I, I got one myself. Come, come, go ahead. I, this is real quick. This is Romans 16, 17. He said, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine. Hey, brothers are doing a lot of videos, man, to, to, to exactly pinpoint who's teaching what and who's, you know, doing a mix. You know? Bros bring out hella videos about them, man. So, really, uh, just a word of, of encouragement and advice to those that are kind of new or, or learning. You know, these are the ones we tell you, you know, Paul begged to abstain and avoid, because they're gonna they're gonna teach you the wrong things, man. You don't want to. The mind is so simple and so easy to go off, man. So you got to be careful who you're listening to. That's why the scriptures say that among a thousand counselors, have but one. But we know who those are. We know who those counselors are, man. And then and one thing that I, in the time that I've been in this thing, man, and I'm pretty sure you brought him a test to as well, man. We all have. There's all something familiar about the spirit and attitude that we bring out. It, 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 there's something better about it. These other guys, man, if they get poked or they have something that, you know, exposes them, man, they'll, they'll, they'll get crazy with it. You know, they won't react the right way. We, we, we don't do that here at Great Millstone, man. We have a, a, a humble spirit for a woman, you know? Which ye have learned and avoided. Yep, which ye have learned and avoided. There you go. That, that backs it up. This is Proverbs 4 and 2. It says, For I give you good doctrine. Forsake ye not my law. I give you good teachings. Forsake it not. That's why the Lord tells you that everywhere you go to bind it about your neck as a chain. Wear them as ornaments. Use them as bracelets. Use them, deck them as your attire. That's what Zephaniah tells you that when the Lord returns, he's going to destroy all of those with the strange apparel. That's, that's the doctrines and philosophy that you gain from this world. Okay? So it's important, man. Go ahead and read it one more time. And then we'll that one Proverbs 4 and 2. It says, For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. That's perfect. That's that's perfect. That's that's straight to the point. I give you good doctrine, forsake not, forsake ye not my law. Alright? So go ahead and get that second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 13. Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people 
comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. Hey, that reproof, that renouncing comes to the reproval, correction. Correct, correct them. Hey, that, no, chill. No, you know, or, uh, hey, this place ain't, you ain't meant to be here for that. Jake thinks we're, Jake actually said some stuff in this time, and, you know, uh, the young still in our captivity. Exactly. That's why they're teaching the, 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 the bullshit they're teaching now, that the, 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 uh, the we're in the new covenant, the sea hit, like, you know, the various examples that we gave. Because they're comfortable here in Babylon. Yep. Ultimately, they want an image. They want reputation. Yep. We're not here to do that, man. We are not here to gain a reputation. And these are things, again, i got to reiterate, you have to foundate this in your mind. That's why in Colossians it said to be rooted. Be rooted, man. Uh, the movie, I, like I, I brought out an example too yesterday, uh, After Earth. You know, when Will Smith told his son when he was getting all crazy, he didn't really know what to do. He said, take a knee. Root yourself in this present moment. Sight, sound, smell. What do you see? What do you feel? And, and understand where you are. Yeah, because I watched it the other day, man. It was, and I've seen it before. There's I like some jewels in there. There is some jewels in there, man. And, the, and because even, the, even the, 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 uh, the conduct that Will Smith had, man, and it, it was, was stoic. Yeah, it was stoic. You know, he says, what, he says, may I get up from the table? What? <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, you, you know, Jake has liberty. Jake can do things and this and that. But ultimately, man, we got a job to do. When, it, when, it, when it's time to do it, we do it. You know? Um, which, uh, go ahead, uh, you got some real quick? Yeah, okay. Uh, we're we're going to keep on reading, so I'll take that Second Edges 14 and 14. Let go from the immortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. Read that, read that all over again for verse 14. God. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 14. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. The mortal thoughts are the cares of this world. Right. right? The worries that you might feel or experience in this time. Essentially, man, you gotta have the mindset that none of this really matters. Alright, none of, this is really a shadow. I know that uh, if, if a brother knows it, I think it's in Corinthians where it says that our life is as a vapor. I know the vapor, I know the word vapor is there. But this, you know, what's the vapor? It's it's uh, evaporated water, or evaporated condensation, whatever you call it. You know, vapor right there. Yeah, vapor. Yeah, there's a vapor right here next to us. We got a little aroma machine. But that vapor eventually dissipates, dissolves, and goes away. This world is getting ready to go away. Yep. That's why uh, ultimately that mindset, telling yourself, hey, this is all about to go away. Haste to flee from this time. We got something better coming. Ultimately, you tell yourself that. That's the comfort. The comfort is that this ain't the end, but there's something there afterwards. James chapter 4, verse 14 says, hey, so it's, so it's lucky, I got James 4. Right here. Yeah, okay. spirit, go ahead, bring it out, bro. It says, where is you know not what shall be on the morrow, but what is your life? It is even a vapor mm -hmm. that appeareth for a little time, and that vanisheth away. Hey, uh, what did Paul also say? Uh, that for this life is temporal. Mm -hmm. It's temporary, man. Right? Or that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of men, look, a lot of example, man, I'm telling you, man, a lot of jigs don't say Lord will, man. They say, hey, I'm going to get this, uh, this car, man, tomorrow. And leave it at that. I'm going to get this new house tomorrow. I'm about to get this new job tomorrow. <coughs> Jake don't say Lord will, man. Yeah, it's a constant repetition with that. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's the guy that came out a week ago. That's his whole in moments. Yeah. Lord's up around. I'll never say it for but uh, I'm looking at him. Like, but you know, you got all these ideas and all yeah. these businesses and all this stuff. And you know, it just ain't got that spirit. Well the apostles told us a long time ago. Remember Apostle Christ said, if, if a nigga if, you, if a nigga never said Lord willing, you gotta watch him. Yep. And it ain't right. Hey, hey man, even when I talk to like the heathen and stuff, if I have to talk to them on my job, I'll, and they ask me if I'm gonna do something, I'll say, hopefully. But in my mind, I'm saying, Lord willing, I'm scared of hell, I say. Mm -hmm. These are some things, man, that you, you, you know, so, so Yeah, 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 the same thing, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 So What's up? I was gonna say, Proverbs 27 says, uh, uh, boast not that stuff of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what the day may bring forth. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Yeah. It says, but now, ye rejoicing in your boastings, all such rejoicing is evil. Therefore, do to him that knoweth to do good, 
and doeth it not, to him it is sin. You want to leave, you know, the world calls it, you know, leaving your mark, leaving the stain, you know, leaving your legacy behind. You know, well, our legacy in this time is going to be carried to the next. All right, every person that, that, that doesn't make it or does make it in this time, they're going to have an account to talk about in the kingdom. That's why when the two-thirds come back, they're going to have that 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 that, uh, that that mark that they left behind. Follow them with that perpetual shame. They're going to know when they come back. Damn, I went off in this kingdom. I, I went off in this kingdom. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. All right, but in this time, you you it doesn't matter about what the world is doing. You yourself should be living behind a good report. That, I mean, the scriptures say that. You know, to be honest among those that are without. You know, uh, we walk in a uh, in a uh, in a perverted generation and all that. You know, but let you be spotless and blameless. Okay. You still got more, uh, Ira? Okay, uh, you have well, yeah, one. Yeah, I just wanted to say this for the point you made. Um, so this is um, Jeremiah 51 6. It says, We out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. All right, be not cut off in her iniquity. This is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a new recompense. This is going back to, uh, you know, having the mindset. Um, that's opposite uh, of this society because if you do have that mindset and you in obscurity you know along with the world you're in that darkness or you know trying to play the fence or you know, trying to be in that darkness you're going to get caught with uh, the, the, the wave of uh, yep. you know the wave of destruction mm -hmm. you know so the point is to flee and, and deliver every man his soul and then how you do that it's uh you know, you got to deliver the, the mind from this place, you know. Uh, yeah, well, isn't, isn't there a scripture where it says to, uh, uh, well, yeah, arise and depart. You know, that's your rescue. Right? Yeah, that's right. um, like a yeah. come To come out of her. Ment mentally, you got to leave this place. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's Acts 2, verse 38. It says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yahweh Mashiach, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our power shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. And that word untoward means crooked or perverse. You know, so it says, Save yourselves from the untoward generation. And that's what generation we've been in since. Yeah, how was Sean made his debut on the earth, man? You know? This is a toward and perverse generation. I don't know how many times the scriptures have said it. You know? And it says, save yourselves. How do you save yourselves, man? You know? By hearing and doing the word of the Lord, how was Sean shot? Because we have to cleanse ourselves. We were in toward at one time. You know? Psalm 119 and 9. Where shall a young man cleanse his way? But hearken unto the commandments of the, of the word and listen to the word of the Most High. You know, that's how you save yourselves from this generation. Not by doing what you want to do and harping on your flesh and giving provision to it. Well, the, the, that's why the first scripture you read was about being baptized in the name of Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You submerge yourself in this. It says, then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Hey, steadfastly, I brought that out yesterday. Being steadfast and immovable, steadfast goes into uh, uh, dutifully un unwavering and firm. Mm -hmm. I know there's another word behind it, like residual, I believe, or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, essentially, man, you can't break or. Uh, you know, lapse in this thing as far as uh, going off in the doctrine, teaching the wrong thing, slack because you, you know you're going to go off. What I'm talking about is being again rooted, firm, teaching this to the very end. That's why Yahweh Shai said he's going to reward those virgins that had no God in their mouth. They didn't go to a different doctrine. They didn't go another way. They didn't slant or curb their teachings. All right. Uh, who, who quoted earlier, man? That the Most High is not. Oh, you did. Immutable. He does not change. I, the Lord, do not change. Right? Even the whole thing with the Old and New Covenant that you know that was arising in the topic this past week. Uh, essentially, we're going to go back to it, update it, and make it uh, more uh, uh, doable by Jake. 
uh, program that way, wired that way. Well, yeah. with the new bodies and all that. Yeah, See? that's that's the addition. Yeah. 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 There was no fault in the old covenant. Exactly. The fault was with our flesh. Right, right. So we couldn't keep it on Yep. See. Yep. So. Yeah, man. Uh, let's go back. Go ahead and get that in Second Edges fourteen. Uh, Second Edges fourteen. Second Edges fourteen and fourteen. Let go from thee, mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to free to flee to lock it from these times. Right. So haste thee to flee from these times because we just gone we just gone over what what's being pushed in this time. Okay. Everything against what we're everything that we're teaching right now, man, is not taught in the world. Right. It's not. All right. You and you even have. The world trying to, uh, you know, you got the replacement theology, you, this, you know, the supersessionism. You got what well, last week this guy in this, in this, I don't even know what it was, auditorium, where he was trying to say that eventually in the future minorities can have, a, you know, the, uh, the opportunity to teach about certain things. And immediately that light got struck off. You know, uh, the, the Lord set the lightning bolt and thunder in it. Oh, you're talking about the uh, yeah. the gay dude, the trans <laughs> Yeah. He said, yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe us trans. Uh, Mal, Mal, uh, something, Mal, something. I forgot. Yeah, maybe, maybe I, it teach was, the, the church and uh, about something, sexual something things life, about something to do about life. Yeah, and well, it's okay, man. I got well, three stripes. So we can gender. go in on this video today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But that's blasphemy. Exactly. You know, the Lord wasn't having that. That's yeah. completely off in, in, in doctrine. Yeah. Plus, it's an Edomite at that. Yeah, right. The Lord, ain't, the Lord ain't gonna play, but the scripture said He ain't gonna hold His tongue no more. Certainly that. Again, he ain't gonna quit. Yeah. He ain't gonna quit. Uh, Read it on, verse 16. Uh, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Hey, we've already we already been going through, we've already seen a lot of evil. But there's gonna be even greater evils coming. So, you know, we, you have to be now we gotta prepare to, to uh, brace for that. So, hey, man, like the Apostle Ramah said, man, like, you know, I, uh, right now you're shadow boxing, but you're about to really have to put your put your uh, your strength to the test. Yeah, because Second Timothy three and one say, hey, though this though this also, you know, back in the last days, <laughs> perilous times shall come, man. Yeah, savage. That's what the word perilous goes into. Perilous means savage, man. Come. Yeah, this is savage. Savage. Yeah. savage. Yeah. That's the great Bible show. That's it. You're about to have all principal, uh, not principalities, all. <laughs> I'll say ordinances of the of, of Esau are going to be totally dismissed. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be all hell, man. Yeah, you know he's going to be let. Uh, I was listening to the live of one of the apostles yesterday talking about letting go. They're going to release a lot of these inmates they got in these prisons mm -hmm. to ultimately set off more of that uh, the seditions right. and to call um, uh, to call in martial law because yeah. a lot of these men, a lot of these that they're going to release actually are about having that that uh, that that lewd lifestyle. They're not coming out to, re to repent and turn anew and, and stop in their ways. You got some guys that are going to be on death row that are going to be let go. You know? And then you got, uh, what is that, in Proverbs, a lot of these men got a lot of rage built up in them, man. Yeah, because when, when, when they get let, let out of prisons of the county and stuff like that, they finna start looking for those that put them in there. Exactly. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, they, finna, they finna look for, especially women, man. Yeah, yeah, y'all in trouble. Oh, yeah. I, we don't want to get on the women topic, but especially you women, y'all gonna get y'all gonna get trampled down in these in these prisons and get out of jail. I'm trying to figure out why we all just shot from the women so much. They did it once to be. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but even that scripture I was gonna, I was quoting in, in Proverbs uh, eight chapter about talking to me, uh, the rage <laughs> being the rage uh, no the, the jealousy being the rage of a man. Yeah. You got a lot of jealousy coming out of those prisons now. Yeah, yeah and he won't take. No money. Or, you know, he, yeah, nothing will satisfy his anger for that deficit, man. Yep. You don't get, and, and to, you, if we say you want to shy, well, you don't get that a lot of these men ain't nothing going to stop them to get to you in that time, man. It's going to be hectic out of the purge. Yeah. What well, do and you, the women know it because now you got a uh, you know uh, community of women that, that's going out and buying their guns and stuff like that. Take classes. Just that, you know. They did it because they know. They know. So they know. They, so, they, they ain't got them sloppy. They ain't got the man of the Lord. If you ain't got the man of the Lord, then hey, shit. Yeah, that's going to be your a ass, Your ass done. Yeah. What you going to do, man, 
when uh, Second Edris, you know, the 14th chapter, the 16th chapter start uh, coming to fruition. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite word, words is fruition because when you look into it, it's like the lack. It was like it goes into like you lacking to believe until full until full realization of it actually occurs. Right. You're gonna be terrified when you see, you know, Marcus appear at your door, ready to take your ass for what you did to him. Hey, you curved. <laughs> you know, and then whenever you call nine one one and no one answers. Oh, take the time. What you gonna do? Who are you gonna call? <laughs> you know. So this is what we're preparing ourselves for. We gotta, uh, we gotta prepare because we're not. Hey, man, we're gonna be in the midst of it as well. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna be in the midst of seeing this going on. And the prophets of old, they had to stay in the land that they were coming against or preaching against, and they had to watch, you know, civil unrest occur as well. They had to be witnesses, the watchers, to attest, like, hey, this was on point. Yeah, the Lord was right. Then they would watch the outcome of it. Same things happening with us. We're about to watch the outcome and follow this place. But it's going to be, hey, man, the, 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 the bro is always going into about how the height of wickedness in this time has overpassed even like all the other past empires combined together. You know, so what do you think is going to happen, man? When, when you hear about, when you read history, man, when you actually read how certain places were destroyed or what the enemies did. So if you think you're so damn macho, you know, hey, you know, hey, whatever. But to those that are wanting to trust in the Lord. That are wanting to hope that they be protected in that time. Yeah. This, yeah, this is what you need to be doing. Like, like you go back to one topic, um, clean your mind from this world, man. Yep. So, uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, this is uh, Second Acts fourteen and seventeen. From look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Mm -hmm. For the truth is fled far away, and leasing is hard at hand. Right now, you've got you've got truth flooding in the earth, all right, to a point only to reach those that are meant to receive it. But once the Lord calls back, when that standard is lifted up, like the scriptures say in Isaiah fifty nine, when the when the enemy shall come in like a flood, then shall the Lord lift up a standard. You know what you're going to do when the Lord calls us and draws us back into into the chambers to be hidden, basically. What you going to do that then? You know, uh, you know, like when. Uh, Someone made a mention about the movie I Am Legend. You know, but what did Will Smith do every night? Because all that, basically, the, all those creatures came out only at night. That's what's going to happen here, man. We're going to, the Lord's going to have to hide us from all that crazy shit that's going to be going on in the earth. It's the Isaiah 32 chapter. It says, the Lord's going to hide us with the wind. Yep. Yeah, wind is destruction. Wind is, um, wind is, is part of the planet, it's part of the, you know, uh, martial law. The scourges. You know what I'm saying? It's part of, yeah, it's part of the evil times, man. The Lord's gonna hide his men. Yep. And then a lot of people look for answers. They ain't gonna find it. Yep. Yep. Go ahead, continue. Uh, uh, read it again. For look how much the uh the world shall be weaker through age, so much more, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. For the truth is fled far away, and leasing is hard at hand. For yeah. now hasteth the vision to come, which thou hast seen. Leasing is lies, right? Huh? I thought it went into like a slack, if I'm not mistaken. But... Oh, no, undesirable. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, what did it say that the love of many shall wax cold? Mm -hmm. That there would be a lot of desire in it. Oh, it says the act of lying, falsehood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because hot lies is going to be the standard. Yep, yep. It is the standard now. Yeah. yeah. But when they cut the internet and all this other stuff, that's it's going to be a mass, uh, um, how do you say, like uh, confusion. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what the uh, this misinformation campaign is about. Yeah. You know. Well, when you look at, I think it's Hosea, like the tenth chapter, the thirteenth or twelfth verse, where it talks about the perverse spirit that's been mingled in the earth. When you put, when you read that in the NLT, <laughs> when you read that in the NLT, it goes into uh, uh, the ones that gave you uh, basically poor advice in this time. And then, you, you know, you, you, your, uh, your mindset was to trust. And ultimately, the thing that is bringing this destruction in hell, well, it's causing it, which is Esau, you know, 
but it says that you trust in the mighty in the mighty man, which is the military power and all that. You're looking to the one who's about to bring the hell on you. Ultimately, but ultimately set up by Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai to get rid of the undesirables and all that. But you know, yeah, you, you ain't being informed the right way. And like the brother said, lies are the standard in this time. How much more whenever you don't even have us on the internet anymore? Yeah, yeah, that uh, that famine of the word is coming, man. You know, family of the word is coming. They, they're already getting rid of all these tweet platforms. They're um, censoring documentaries, censoring documents, um, redacting documents, you know, pulling them off of whitehouse.gov, you know, um, using anti, uh, anti-true sites known as fact checkers, you know, to display false, false facts. Well, check it out, man. Uh, a few weeks it came out that they had, that they had 13,000 archive documents on J.F. Kennedy and his assassination. And they, had to, they said they had to finally give them up. There's 13,000 lies behind the assassination of J.F.K. Damn. You know? What the What the hell? Something simple happened. He got shot. And now we just got to know who it was. Yeah. Oh, it's so-and-so. That's all it is. Why do you need 13,000 reasons or explanations? They had it covered. Yeah, exactly. They covered it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, man. The forger lies. Yeah, like you said. Man, uh, 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 you know, yeah, last night uh, I read. I re- uh, Jamie Lee Curtis uh, gave an explanation of uh, what her that that uh, drawing or painting, whatever it was on her wall. She said, "I am a truth teller." So here's the truth. This was done by a painter. And it was simply of the mother who took a picture of her 10-year-old daughter swimming in the pool or swimming in that little tote as a pool or whatever. That is a damn lie. Right, that's a tote. And that's yeah. a kid in John Holden House who's doing some crazy stuff. Too. Exactly. And, 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 and sometimes, you know, like off the camera, man, I just laugh at how, how horrible you people are going to have it in the end for trusting in these lies. The scriptures say that you made your lives your refuge. Yeah, right. What is go- what do you think is going to happen? And this is the this is that, that 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 what do you call it? The stalemate that we're really at right now. We're just waiting. We're just waiting. Right now, it's the he said, he said. This is this. This is that. But there's coming a point in time, man, when all mouths are just going to be fucking shut up, and it's going to be performed. So we're going to see in that day if sin is really the MOTB. Okay. We're going to see if Jacob's troubles is 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 gay. You know, right? What's your response going to be then? Yeah, we're going to see how this is going to be the law or it's going to be the sin. Fuck this. We're going to see. Well, the brother is going to wear the mark of the beast and Barbara. <laughs> well, really quick, this is back in uh, Titus 1 and 10. It says, For there are many unruly, unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped. Yep. And the Lord's going to stop your mouth. Yep. Especially, especially uh, you Israelites. Okay? Because you you got the word of, of the covenant, you know? Essentially. You, know, you got the word of, of promise in your hand. We know the Lord is a man of his word. And if anything, he's a man of his word. Christ is you know? right upon you, man. Yep. That's, his high, that's your highest honor. You know, your word. Keeping your word. So if the Lord gave us his word to go teach and you doing doing with it whatever the hell you seem like or feel like without really going into it. you being prideful and you being constantly corrected and you continue to do that whatever you whatever you want man that's 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 gonna be a really bad judgment you know you know that that ain't nothing like this ain't nothing like but hey man, you know uh, what's the saying you know, you fuck around, you're going to find out. Yep. So, sometimes Jake needs, well, I'm not even saying it helps, but Jake needs points of perspective at times to have things really put in perspective. You're messing with a power that literally created you and created all the other spirits. There's a, there's a, there's a book in Sirach 16 chapter that talks about it. You know, say not because, you know, I'm one among a billion, you know, that the Lord doesn't see me or what I'm doing. He created the entire universe. This is a ubiquitous, omnipresent, omnipotent power. All right, and you and, and you're fucking around with that, so you're about to find out who he really is. <laughs> so like elephant, 
<laughs> it says teaching, it says uh, it's like it, whose mouth must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said that the Cretans are always liars, evil, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith. And that's that's what that's what you're getting, man. Sharp rebuke, you know. Better that rebuke come from the prophets and come directly from Yahweh by some Yahweh Shai, man. Yep. It says, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandment of men that turn from the truth. That's the thing, you know. These are commandments of men that turn from the truth, you know. They stop teaching the truth and start teaching lies. Stop teach, start teaching things that aren't sound, things that are, um, how do you say, uh, things that are, aren't, that aren't uh, relevant. That might, what yeah, is especially now, because um, the guy, uh, uh, Zika, you know, with, you know, he's somewhat, he's somewhat sincere, but he's just, he's all. Other way to show you. You know, uh, but um, uh, Slack, repeat that again. Oh, no, the guys are teaching things that aren't sound or relevant. Yeah, oh, relevant, yeah. yeah, so they make the, 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 rele the irrelevant things of importance. Mm -hmm. And our biggest thing is prophecy, and the biggest thing right now is prophecy. Yep. Because it is, it is the commandment, it is a law, mm -hmm. you know? It is a law, it is part of this law, you know, and judgments. That's the biggest thing going on, you know? So we got to stick to that, because yeah. it's shaping our world. Well, the, the scripture says to shun profane and vain babblings, right? Things that have no, no relevance to what's really going on. You know, Jacob make it, brother. You know, <laughs> that's what he did. Because I had a conversation with him, and he argued the same point. He argued, he argued, I'm like, bro, we ain't here for uh, debate. We gonna tell you like it is, and that's just what it is. If you don't like it? That's that's just what you man. You know. It's Ecclesiasticus of Sirach 391. It says, "But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High." and is occupied in meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecy. See, this, what that, like I said earlier in the beginning of this lesson, there's a certain behavior that Great Millstone holds, uh, you know, while walking this path. And we all have that same mind frame. We understand. That's one of the, that's one of the first things that you receive in this truth is understanding the severity of relevance and the uh, relevant topics relevant teachings and understanding the severity of how on point and precise you must be. All right, uh, Apostle Gabar did a lesson a few weeks back about being vetted, understanding what you're in. See, we, we, we understand that this is, this is what should be getting spoken about. And we understand the extreme importance about not teaching a lie, all right? We understand what the punishment and the outcome of it is if we do that. That's why we're so, that's why we're so particular, man. We're so, you know, I don't want to say anal, <laughs> you know, but we're, I don't know another word to use. We're so, just, just, we're just, well, I'll say straight. We're so, yeah, austere and firm about what we teach and making sure that we teach the right way. It says, he will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where subtle parables are. He didn't bring nothing else in extra with the, with the, with the teachings of the renowned men. Those are the, those are the prophets. Those are the men of the Lord that were before us. All right. They they they're teaching what they taught. Nothing else, nothing more to it. Yeah, and those prophecies come in you know, most of the time, come in ways of subtle parables, man. You know, yep. parables, <laughs> prophecies, the, the parables contain prophecies, man. You know, but if you're not trying to look at those parables and find out what those deep things are, you don't even know what you're saying. You know? Yeah. He says he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant. In dark parables. Hey man, we, you uh, in this time, we we actually we actually have a hundred percent understanding now of, this, of, this, of the prophecies. We have a hundred percent understanding. It's all been unlocked. It's all been unsealed. All right, by starting with the apostles and on down, man. So you may get revelations. All right, every brother gets small revelations, but it's going to align with the breakdown, with the understanding, the proper understanding of that scripture. Well, what it is, they don't believe in Yahweh, you know. Line of the tribe of Judah and we can see this. 
you know. So when we say we have 100% truth, oh, no, they can't have 100% truth. But the scriptures say that the Lord will lose the seals. Yep. And he sent the spirit as a comforter, uh -huh. which, which will lead me into all truth. Oh, it's a lion of the tribe of Judah. That means you have a shot. He's going to come back in the body of a lion. What the fuck? <laughs> See, you know, you got to keep, hey, you got to keep it in perspective. <laughs> or essentially they're saying that we ain't got the truth. Yeah, yeah. You know, we don't have the Holy Spirit that the Lord just said. One of the elders just, he just made a lesson about this this morning. There's a guy that's going around, even uh, 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 GMS Butte, the, 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 the elder, Barack Bavar, I believe. Yeah, Barack Bavar. Uh, he added a comment, this is, this is going to come serious. Because the man is saying, uh, Great Millstone is going around saying they have 100% truth, teaching this and that. But he said, as I am God, y'all ain't teaching it. So. Is that the name that think he came there? I have no idea. He's, no, he said he thinks he's God. He says, as, as I say that I am a God, or I am God. Something like that, man. Okay. It's, it's um, the elder Manat Zakba made a lesson on it this morning. Okay. So. Because apparently that dude. He said more scoffers or more comments of silly scoffers, something like that. But let's see. So, really quick, this is um, 1 Corinthians 13. And I'm going to read this to you. It says, For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But we understand the prophesying in part and knowing part is going into the things about the actual kingdom. We don't know 100% what, is, what we're going to be able to You can't understand or fathom that. It's, right. It even tells you that too. No, uh, I. No, I have seen, no ear heard the things that the Lord has prepared for them for the coming kingdom. Yeah, but we know 100% of what we've been given. Exactly. It says, but that when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Because when that problem, that, that which is to come is kingdom of heaven, and that part that should be done away is the part that we don't know or understand. Because we're going to know all the things in the kingdom of heaven. Yep. And the prophecy is fulfilled. And, the reason, and, and one a quick example of how we know we got 100% understanding. Jeremiah, one of my favorite books, it, it threw uh, like 40s and 50s of the chapters that he has. In the late chapters in the 50s, he talks about certain things that even he didn't understand. When he was writing, when the words were written for him, uh, he thought he was talking about actual Babylon he was speaking about. Or even Apostle Hart brought it out. But when you look at how it says that Babylon should become a desolation, Babylon shall seek the perpetual sleep, we understand that to know that it's talking about now. That was prophecy. He didn't know that. It's going to be uninhabited. So mm -hmm. we just about that too. Yeah. But see, that's what it's talking about. That the, everything's been revealed now. We know the will. We know the perfect will of the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. and, and it's obvious that these other groups don't. You know, they're talking about unnecessary things at a, at a very critical moment uh, in time and space right now. <laughs> you know, it's very critical now. You know, and we've been doing, we're doing what we've been told to do. As uh, you know, as far as, far as the prophecies concerned, brother read it. You know, being occupied in prophecy, and that's what we're pushing, because that's the testimony of Yahweh Shai. You know, what are these other groups are just deviating from the, the the plan that was all, always the agenda from the beginning, and never really being fruitful in in, 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 in the wisdom of the Heavenly Father. We understand His will. That's what the hundred percent truth is. Understanding the full His 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 full intended will. And these guys, man, they uh. They believe that the filthy lucre stake, man, is, is, is their true game. The number of followers they got, you know, the number of, you know, donations they're receiving, man. That's that's that's, that's beautiful how you said that, man. The prophecy we're following, the testimony of Yahweh Shai ultimately. That's right. It's crazy because it's the spirit of prophecy. It's the spirit of prophecy. Right, oh, go ahead. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 20, and verse 24, and I'm going to read down to 26. It says, a lie is a foul blot in a man, yet it is continually in the mouth of the untaught. <laughs> so if you ain't got the truth, you ain't telling you, hey, 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 you, hey, you did it again, man. That's a good description. That one. A lie is a foul blot in a man, mm -hmm. yet it is continually in the mouth of the untaught. The mouth of the untaught. Because if you ain't got this true doctrine, well, unlearn, unlearn, man. If you ain't got this true doctor, man, from, from the Yahweh Shadi, from the apostles on down, man, you was untaught, man. You know, you're going to be spilling all kind of lies and all kind of bullshit. Well, that's what their congregation is doing. So it's right. a block unto the leaders. Yep. And then it's continually taught by men that don't even have no understanding. Like, hey, like, real quick, man, Nate, I got to use the guy Nate again. Say it. Nate, because one thing I was going to bring up that definition is the word lie. The word lie means intentional, conscious falsehood. 
You are intentionally teaching lies. And you know that you're doing it. Nate knows he's teaching lies, man. Otherwise, he wouldn't have made a video, what was it, in that forest, and he found the rock, he went behind there, he goes, oh, look at this, oh, look at this, yeah, 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 and that was even a, that was even a, a, a sign as well, that he, he was losing the oil, yeah, 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 that's crazy, man, he knew the game, yep, yeah, and it's, it's just a surprise, it's a surprise, you know, Sirach 20 and 25 says, a thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie. Man. But they both shall have destruction to heritage. Yep. Yep. The disposition of a liar is dishonorable, and his shame is ever with him. So the management, mm -hmm. right? The disposition is a management of what's going to happen to you. Okay? It's going to be dishonorable. So what is what are the where are all the, the, the dishonorable going to be put in? That lake of fire. Uh, what uh, it was in Matthew where it said that Yahweh Shah was going to uh, cast all things that are thin into that furnace. So man, that's what you got coming for you. Right. All right. That's that's a good ass scripture. Man. Yeah. Um, I went into that word uh, custom. Um, so I like, yeah. like it's, oh, it's like a practice of behavior. Yeah. Custom. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. yeah um, basically, you, you make it a habit. You know. So he literally applied it to his daily life to lie, well, which I'll show you he knew the truth once upon a time. Well, uh, accustomed going into repetition, uh, he, this is his rep repetitive behavior. Right, go ahead. Uh, um, you know, he says, often practice or use too. You know, so he, you know, you never know. Like sometimes people will literally look in the mirror and, and, and say that lie over and over again just to convince themselves that it's the truth. Because they know that if they teach the truth, they're not going to get their reward, you know. So he 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 has convinced himself, or you know, it's it's the way it's the spirit of Satan on him, though, you know, to tell those lies and to know the truth, you know, but to, but to withhold that from your congregation, you know. He says a thief is better than somebody who is who, who is accustomed to tell lies, man. But both of y'all are going to be destroyed at the same time. That's all beautiful, the beautiful thing about that, precept is judgment. Uh -huh. Judgment going forth. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 So so essentially speaking lies has been worse worse than still. You know? Yeah, lies like it's like that's the worst sin. That's the worst thing in Israel besides adultery. Lies, lying and shit, man. Because it's a precept, I believe it's in Proverbs, it talks about men who like steal food or something, they're yep. doing it to feed themselves. Yep. But, you know. But yeah, 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 it's a proper thing that the thief yeah, 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 steals to for the yeah. content. But yeah. they'll they'll overdo it, you know? Yeah. Which Jake always does. It. Jake abuses everything. That's just fine. Right, right, right. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Because he even said it, you know, don't let the him don't let the thief think that he's gonna go unpunished. Right. You know, but there was a reason why you know they left behind the apples or extra olives so that you can you know really was to avoid poverty. Yeah. You know, but you know. Yeah, la uh, uh, what is it? It said that the commandment is la ah the aina shakwa. He quoted when we do the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not uh, bear false witness. Yeah. You know. Yeah. This is Deuteronomy sixteen and nineteen. It says, Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Neither take a gift, for a gift does blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. That's exactly what we've seen. We've seen these guys that gifts, they rest judgment because they don't teach prophecies. You know, they don't teach that uh, judgment's going to happen to the world and to Israel. You know, they take gifts, they're blind. You know, they act, even, even when they do see something, they don't really see what's going on in the world. They don't see what the Lord is trying to tell them. They don't them. understand the gravity, which yeah. I was talking about earlier. Like, well, how do you think, you know, you know, Sakari, man, how do you think he reacted when he got that $27,000 donation? You know? <laughs> oh, they're bringing in loads of cash. Yeah. You know, because their, their audience is um, the vain fellows of Israel, the, the, the uh, you know, shakers and movers, the, the, you know, the celebrities, you know. That's who they, they want clout in that sense. Well, yeah. we, we want, we want, we want favor from the Lord. We want to basically do what the Lord is telling us to do, and and uh, be in uh, in order. So you know, adorn. 
<laughs> hey man, it was something I was told years back, man, back when I was in Texas, my brother. He said, would you rather the world love you and the Lord hate you in this time? Or would you rather the world hate you <coughs> and the Lord love <coughs> Or would you rather have the world hate you and the Lord love you? Mm -hmm. You gotta make a choice, man. But a lot of times, man, Jake will choose uh, the, the wrong choice. And that's even in a movie, man. Yeah. Said by, uh, what's this? Uh, she's actually one of my favorite actors. She's the one who played his role in Titanic. Uh, I can't remember her name now. But she said it. Nine times out of ten, people choose the wrong decision. And that can be more than the fucking truth. I was about to say that. <laughs> That's the wrong decision to choose because yeah. it's the fact that the law coming back to kill every family. <laughs> Two thirds. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it it don't take a rocket science for a real man of the Lord to think, I better love the Lord and love the world, the world gonna perish. Because it ain't gonna it's gonna be it's, the world is basically temporary. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, that's a good choice to make because the Lord gonna kill everything to sight. You guys ain't death angels running around, man. You know what I'm saying? So this is best love, Yahweh Shema Shai, man, in the world. Yeah. Scripture so talk about the uh, any man love the world. The love of the Father is not in you. Know, the Father's not in him because in your day to day life, you you you're doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you're doing your like your, your regular life routine. You seeing this world crumbling, man. Why would you love this shit? Because uh, you've got these men ultimately thinking that game is godliness. Yep, yeah, there you go. Yeah. This is Luke. Which is why I want to get the scripture in Luke. Whoever gets quick. Luke, this is what I was going to say. This is James 4 and 4. It says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? The word enemy goes into hatred. Mm -hmm. it says, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. Yeah, because if you're a friend of the world, man, the Lord hates you, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You hate the Most High because you're a friend of this world, man. But look, you know, if you don't know this world, about a parish, man, then you lost. Let's see, look, what's the life? Like? It's like, this shit's going last forever, man. It's not. Right. It's literally uh, 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 like a Cain and Abel situation again, man. The offerings that the world is giving is fucking, you know, bruised up fruit and vegetables and shit. Our offering is, you know, sacrificing our lives and instilling this knowledge into us, you know? He says, do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwells in us lusteth for envy? It ain't about, it ain't about gaining this time either, all right? Lust, yeah, lust is so envy, man. You know? He says, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, the most high resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves and forth the Most High. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. It says, draw nigh to the Most High and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. Hey, that's actually a, a secret, right? The, uh, drawing near to the Lord, that's a secret. Because it's not given to everybody to know how to do that. You know, we know it. We know what we got to do. It's simple. Read, study, and, 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 and uh, again, put, the, put these things in your mind. You got to know the Lord. Right. The whole point of this is to know the Lord. Yeah, We've been right. turned back to our power, so now we have to it's know. Yeah, now we have to know who He is and what He likes, what He dislikes. Well, two of my favorite scriptures, John seventeen three says, "But this is life eternal, that thou mayest know the only true power, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shammashiach." Mm -hmm. And then you got uh, Wisdom of Solomon, thirteenth chapter. It says, "That surely vain are all men by nature who do not know the Most High." Yeah. So. There you go. Men don't know. Uh, they, it's, it says scriptures talk about that men don't know anything because it's not eternal. Mm -hmm. but it's oh, yeah, like all things cannot be in them. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 you're hollow, you know, shy as a mortal slot. No, you did, you did. You got that scripture? Yep. Uh, this is Luke 12 and 15. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. <laughs> For a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. Hey man, because like this brother said earlier, you know, this all this shit's about to be uh, killed off. Yeah. It's all about to be rooted up. When you go into second Edges, the third chapter, man, it says that the Lord has, is gonna is coming back to turn this place upside down so that he can put the good back in. So, you know, if your mind is about thinking, you know, like I said, you know, how did it say uh how did the first in verse one we read I think it said like uh 
covetous. Yeah, it says, uh, <clears throat> take heed, and, so I'll read it again. This is Luke 12 and 15. It says, and he said unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness. That's literally the same thing. Beware of covetousness. You're not here to do that. You are here. Actually, you know what? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon. The sixth chapter says that if these things be a desire, if, if crowns, scepters, and, 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 uh, and uh, uh, how does it say, like like material, basically, be a, be a desire, the desire of the wisdom, that's what's going to get you. Because it even says at the end of that chapter that this is the welfare of the world. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is the welfare. That's what's going to get us those things that you want in the end. But it is not an abundant, it is not a thing of abundance in this time, right? Because uh, ultimately, man, again, your life's going to be required. That same day, we're getting to those times, man. Okay? Um, did you have something, Myron? Yeah. And then you know, he wouldn't get that from me from Mr. Psalm 6. Like nine. Okay. We have a couple of that. Uh, did you have something? All right, it's a lot. Did you have something? Yeah, yeah, real quick. Um, this is Wisdom of Psalm 6. <laughs> 11 says, Wherefore set your perfection upon my words. Desire them, and ye shall be instructed. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is glorious, and never fades away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her, and found of such as seek her. So the wisdom never fades. But this word, the, the world is going to fade, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the fact, the scripture, the fact that the world passes away, but the earth abides forever. You know? So the earth will always be here, but this present world that you see now, and all you think, what you think are all the bells and whistles, all this is going to be back vaporized, you know? The, the, the Gucci that you bought, you know, uh, Banana Republic, Versace, all this shit about to get burned up, man. Yeah. And, and we already know this is the lowest form of glory in America, man. Right. You're glorying and getting snared up by that. Yeah. You know, so it said, wherefore set your affection upon these things. Be yeah. kingdom-minded. Right. Uh, Apostle Gilbar said you've got to have vision in this truth, man, and it's ultimately to get you out of this base-ass style of living so we can get to the next. Man, you're going to have, man, I always have to bring in the things you're going to have in the kingdom. Brothers make comments about silk farms. Your, 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 your clothes are going to be having pure gold on it, you know? Things we can't even, your tiny human, fleshly brain can't even imagine. Human. Human. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he said, no, he said, human God. Yeah, human God. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, your simple, your little puny mite, you know, it's all going away. So yeah, we were just talking about the kingdom last night. Yeah, so that's right. What did you read to? I started at 11. I'm still going. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I went. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, did you ask me again? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> It says, verse 12, yeah. it says, it says, wisdom is glorious and never fades away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such that seek her. She preventeth them that desire her and making herself first known unto them. Yeah, Who's preventeth them from doing uh, evil. What verse you want? 14. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, we're going to go all the way to verse 21. Okay. It says, whoso seeketh her early, shall have no great travail. For he shall find her sitting at his at his doors. And that's why when you read uh, we read um, Ecclesiastes twelve last night, you know, see, seek ye the Lord while he uh, seek ye the Lord. Ah, seek ye the creator. Remember the creator now and not you oh, yeah. it. While seek the evil days draw nigh. Seek the Lord like you know Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well it also says seek the Lord early. And not, not, not in the days of that security. Yeah, not, that's what's and and now you meaning it's early. Right, you know? right, right. While the evil days draw nigh, you can't and you say you have no pleasure in it. Yep. You know? Verse uh, 14, verse 14 again it says, Who shall see her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors. To think therefore upon her is perfection of wisdom. Yeah, because he ain't gonna have no uh, uh, great travail. A lot of people gonna lose their mind. Yeah. You know, and that wisdom is gonna be at the door of your the door of your mind. Yep. Right. So you're gonna be able, you're gonna be comforted being able to reflect on on these words that persist in the universe that that are alive, and other people are gonna lose their mind because they trust in these things that are dead. You know, yeah, it's all hell You know, they gonna blow the hell out. It's like that. Yeah, that movie Quarantine, the first Quarantine. 
You know, that girl that was along the newscast, little girl, had no idea what to do. All she could think to do was to scream. Every little, every little uh, tiny noise she heard, she went ballistic, crazy, screaming. You know? Hey, man, a lot of y'all gonna get caught off guard. We already know that you're gonna, they're gonna be taken as a snare, a trap. It's a trap. Yeah, because Isaiah 33 6 saying wisdom and knowledge yep. used to be in that time. Because it gave us answers. We have the answers, man. You're not going to have an answer at that time. You weren't preparing. Right. It says, And whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. For if she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, showeth herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meeteth them in every thought. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. And the care of discipline is love. And love is the keeping of her laws. And the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. And incorruption maketh us near unto the Most High. This is essentially, when you establish these, these, this way of living, these thoughts, that's your step towards immortality. I know the scriptures say uh, somewhere in like 1st or 2nd John, it says that he that have this hope purifieth himself. If you instill this this way of thinking, man, you're, you're on your way to immortality. Yes, Go ahead. Right. No, that's all right. That's a good precept. Uh -huh. And love is keeping her laws, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. And incorruption maketh us near unto the most high. Hey, so, but, you know, most of, of Jake, most of Israel, they want to point that. To the, the, to the actual law. Mm -hmm. Really, the, the, it's the real law is obedience. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and, and you know, renewing yourself in that fountain of the living waters. That's what's going to keep you from the corruption. Yeah, that's right. what uh, Samuel told him. It's like, no, you got it. Oh, no, that's what Samuel told Saul. To obey is better than sacrifice. Yep, yep, yep you know? that's right. Because Saul was so busy trying to hurry up and, 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 uh, and uh, commit the sacrifice official ceremony. He wasn't supposed to, you know. No. It says, therefore, the desire of wisdom brings to a kingdom. That's right. That's what. That's 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 why we have in these conversations. We said that because this this is going to lead to uh, the kingdom, you know. It says, if your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom, that ye may reign forevermore. Because the wisdom is going to set all these things in order. Oh, verse 21. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ultimately, regard these things as the essential, the relevant things that you should be storing and feeding yourself daily. All right? Because this is what's going to get you, Lord willing, in good graces. Okay? From the one that's coming to wipe this life away. All right? So, other than that, uh, if any of has any scriptures, uh, what? if not, no, I do have, I do have one. Okay, all right. Is that, can we get it? More than that? Because we're speaking about wisdom and seeking wisdom, right? The thing is that um, you're only going to have the 144,000, the one-third elect that's going to receive the wisdom, you know? Because not everybody can receive this wisdom. That's why you have, you got to have, you got to have two things. You know, you got to have the des undesirables, mm -hmm. you know? So this is wisdom style in one and four. It says, for into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Yeah. So you have you have people in the world that really are not built to actually receive the wisdom, man. You know, and that's something that that we need to speak on too, because that's the other side of it. You know, the wisdom to know that some people aren't going to get the wisdom. Yeah, so they, that they're broken cisterns, yeah. cisterns that can hold no water. It says. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding. See, it's so we just got done talking about liars. Mm -hmm. It just said that the Holy Spirit will flee the the, the, the will flee deceit. Yep, will flee deceit. So if you're liars, you ain't got it. You ain't got the truth in you. You're not teaching the truth. Right. It says, and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. For wisdom is a loving spirit, and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. Yeah, you know, that, that is. That was repeatedly read. Even this brother read that part too. Yeah, so. For the Most High is witness of his reigns, and a true beholder of his heart, and the hearer of his tongue. 
For the Spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and the which containeth all things hath knowledge of the voice. So there's a part where it says that the beholder, though. Yep, that, that's, that's right there. Yeah, we done. I'll read it again. It says, For the Most High is witness of his reigns, and a true beholder of his heart. Yeah, he knows what type of people the undesirables are. He knows what type of person the sincere are. Uh, All right, that's what the reigns are about. The reigns is really uh, the, the way that he controls you. Right. right. So he knows exactly what person is up to what, who's not going to want to do what, who is doing it for ulterior motives, who's doing it to actually, uh, like we read earlier in Matthew, to increase fruit. All right. Whether in pretense or sincerity. <laughs> yep. It says, and a hearer of his tongue. For the Spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and that which containeth all things hath knowledge of the voice. I'm stop right there. Come, come. Yeah. So, again, hey, the same message. Man. Ultimately, the lesson was actually, well, we, we covered it really well, man. Because, like I said at the beginning, you know, you hear this a lot. There's a reason why you hear the same things about encouraging to endure, to, uh, to have a hearing ear, to be able to conform, to be obedient. And ultimately establish your heart because it's essential, man. You're going to really need this. The times that we're approaching are going to be mind breaking. It's going to it's going to break a lot of people, man. These people you see out in the world claim to be hard ass, you know, thugs, gangsters, no laws that they can provide for themselves. And these when these hard times come, they're about to fold. And yeah, they're really th actually they're really just the really with emotion. Right. With emotion. Yeah, and the Lord's going to make an imposition of the realms. Right. So uh, it would be uh, pertinent. All right, for you to do what we're telling you to do, you know, store up that wisdom, get wisdom, get understanding. Get all that so, like yeah, understanding. Get all that like yeah. get understanding. So, you know, with that, just continue to cleanse your way, Lord, within according to the right spirit of the Bible, you not shy. Cleanse yourself. All right, get this wisdom, get this knowledge, get this understanding, and wait for the return of your hell shot. So, get it put all like yeah. So, you know, with that, we'll go ahead and end this lesson. Lord, willing, it was edifying. Want to give all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakhadash. That brought us to the apostles of Elders of Great Millstone. Peace, honors, and blessings to the elect, sincere Akim and Akwa that do continue to fight sincerely. And with that, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, brother, come. Amen. Shalom. Shalom.